Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in signals and systems. In this video lecture we shall consider a numerical on sketching the even and odd parts of a given signal. Here x of t is the given signal which is sketched with respect to the time t and this is how it looks like and it is a continuous time signal. The task is to sketch its even and odd part. The very first thing is we look for how to sketch the even part. For that we have the formula x e of t which is equal to x of t plus x of minus t whole thing gets divided by 2. So this is the formula to find the even part and similarly we have another formula to find the odd part that we'll see it later. The very first thing is I should know what is x of t as it is already given we know it and we should also find what is x of minus t so which is not given so now the very first task is to sketch the odd part of the given signal uh, so the reflected version of the given signal x of minus t so once we know x of t and x of minus t so I can add these two signals and I can divide by 2 this is how I get the even part the very first task uh, what I said is to sketch x of minus t x of minus t is nothing but the reflected version of x of t so here the very first task is let me write the limits 0 minus 1 so they, they would become now 0 plus 1 and this is 1 2 3 those things would become now minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so these are the limits of the new signal x of minus t so how would I sketch now reflected version it is I have to fold this signal x of t along the vertical axis so whatever I get that would be my x of minus t so if I move on further so this is how the reflected version of the signal x of minus t would look like yes continuing further so this is how the reflected version of x of t would look like so I would call this signal as x of minus t I'm almost done yes this signal I would call it as now the reflected version of x of t that is known as x of minus t so what would be the amplitude amplitude would still be uh, remain same 1 2 here and this would be minus 1 correct so this is the sketching of x of minus t so once this is done I have to add these two signals and get the even part of the signal I can call the addition of these two signals as x of t plus x of minus t so that is the new signal so how do I add that so I would get this from the extreme left to the extreme right extreme left it is starting at minus 3 and extreme right this signal is starting at plus 3 so what should I do now from minus 3 to minus 2 and minus 2 to minus 1 this is the shape of the signal and I do not have anything over here it is 0 plus this signal so this part would remain from minus 3 to minus 1 so let me sketch that signal it is minus 3 uh, let me write the limits first so this would be 0 1 2 3 here I would get minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so minus 3 to minus 1 I said the shape of the signal is still the same so this is how it would look like minus 3 to minus 1 yes I'm almost done now minus 3 to minus 1 this is how the shape of the signal would look like what happens from minus 1 to 0 so that I have to check now so if I look here minus 1 to 0 this is the shape of the signal and minus 1 to 0 this is the constant 1 for this signal we are adding 1 the same signal would clamp up 
it is increasing and that would still be increasing but with an addition of 1 so how that would look like it would look like this yes the same thing it was increasing it would still increase but with an addition of 1 so that is how it would look like now now from 0 to 1 this is constant 1 from 0 to 1 this is a decaying signal so now I would get the decaying signal but still that would be added with an amplitude 1 constant 1 so how would that look the same thing let me con let me move on further I would get something like this is that okay so that is how it looks like that is from 0 to 1 so now moving on from 1 to 2 so if I look here 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 this is the shape of the signal here 1 to 2 2 to 3 there is nothing so I have to retain the original shape I'm adding this signal with 0 and I would get back that signal so how how does that signal looks like so let me sketch that that is this I have to as I said I have to retain the same shape from 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 correct yes so now from this it goes to minus 1 amplitude of minus 1 I'm almost done yes and this is how the signal looks like so this signal I would call as X of T plus X of minus T is that okay but ultimately what should I do I have to divide by Two. ultimately I have to divide by 2 what happens the shape of the signal would still remain the same only thing is the amplitude gets divided by 2 so what happens now so I will not draw another signal so I'll just change the amplitude here it was 1 earlier so now it becomes 1 by 2 it was 2 earlier so now it, it becomes 2 and uh, what else is left here this was minus 1 so now it would become minus 1 divided by 2 ultimately this signal gets divided by 2 this signal gets divided by 2 this I am going to call it as x e of t which is equal to something like this x e of t is equal to the even part of the signal it looks something like this so what is the next task to next task is to sketch the odd part of the signal so what is the odd part of the signal x o of t which is equal to 1 divided by 2 into bracket I have x of t minus x of minus t so this is the formula to find the odd part of the signal so if I look at the formula I need x of t I need x of minus t both the signals are available earlier I have added them now I need to subtract them later divide by 2 that is the task so let me consider uh, x of t and x of minus t now to sketch the odd part so this is the odd part that I am going to call it as uh, let me call this as x o of t so what happens now so let me consider these two signals subtract them so this is minus 3 to minus 1 the signal is 0 here minus 3 to minus 1 this is the shape of the signal 0 minus this thing would become plus of this so that 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 I, would, uh, I will see it later now so let me just uh, call this as minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so here it is a 0 here it is 1 2 and 3 so let me consider from minus 3 to minus uh, 2 minus 3 to minus 2 this is uh, the shape of the signal with an amplitude minus 1 here 0 0 minus of minus 1 would become plus 1 is that okay so how does that signal uh, look like let me sketch that signal it would look something like this is that okay that is from minus 3 to minus 2 then minus 2 to minus 1 this is still 0 and this is the shape of the signal that would again get uh, the reflected version along the horizontal axis so 0 minus of that so it would become something like this it would go down now correct till the amplitude of minus 2 and then it would continue same with the amplitude of minus 2 right so this is how it is going to look till minus 1 yes this is the shape of the signal now 
is this okay let just let me draw it clearly yes i'm almost done now so this is how it looks like from minus 3 to minus 1 what happens from minus 1 onwards let me check here minus 1 to 0 this is the shape of the signal minus 1 to 0 this is the shape of the signal how do i get uh, the exact point now so let me check at 0 at 0 this signal is 1 at 0 this signal is 1 i need to get 1 minus 1 which is a 0 so let me put a point at 0 here the amplitude is also 0 so here i am yes uh, let me consider sketching 0 over here and earlier point was here earlier point I said it is here I need to join these two points to get the shape of the signal which is something like this is this okay so now moving on further what is there that is going to be 1 at 1 this signal is 1 at 1 this signal is 0 so I have to sketch 1 minus 0 wherein I get the amplitude as 1 so ultimately I would get it something like this a point over here a point over here and I have to join from 0 till 1 so this is how I am going to get is this fine yes moving on further 1 to 2 so once I'm moving from 1 to 2 I have to sketch that signal if I'm moving from 1 to 2 the amplitude is 2 and here it is 0 2 minus 0 I have to sketch which is uh, 2 so I would get a point of 2 here right so what should I do I have to join these two points again which would look something like this correct yes so this is the shape of the signal and what happens at 2 let me check that at 2 at 2 the signal the shape would continue so let me there is nothing here so again I would continue the same thing at 2 till 2 I would continue the same shape right this is how it is going to uh, look like let me sketch it again yes I'm done now so now add two so what is going to happen from uh, that point onward so that signal is coming down so that would still be the same so it would still come down till this point correct and what would be the amplitude that I need to check amplitude looks like minus 1 yes is it right yes let me check the amplitude amplitude is minus 1 it would still go at that point right and what is there at 3 at 3 this point is 0 this there is nothing here so I would get a 0 that means I have to join this till 3 with an amplitude of 0 so ultimately this is the shape of the signal and what should I do to get the odd part ultimately I need to divide this by 2 so this would become 1 divided by 2 and this would become ultimately with an amplitude of 1 so this is odd part of the signal so if I look now it is anti-symmetric is that okay even part is symmetric signal and odd part is anti-symmetric signal so this is the numerical wherein I have explained how to sketch the even and odd part of the given signal uh, I have explained this numerical step by step I hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching